Okay, these two guys are uh, battery operated, which is pretty cool. And um, the box says Billiken, but it says licensed to a Sokka tin toy. So I'm guessing it was made by a Sokka tin toys. And Billiken already owned the rights to it. Hard to say. Really nice job on this. Um, the battery boxes are really well made for being all, all tin and metal. The uh, robots, all tin and metal, with the exception of the, uh, the nose. In this case it seems to be a very hard type plastic. I'm looking on the back to see if there's anything on here of interest. Dated 1995 down in his uh, butt region. Let me turn this little light function on. There. See if that helps. And um, let's prolong our battery life. Let's shut that light function off. Two D cells. Walking with moving arms and lit head. Very nice. Let's check out the uh, darker colored one. Again, it's a very dark brown. It's not black. Yeah, very smooth running. I think this is the first time I've actually ever run these. I mean, I had bought them and they were in the box until I built this museum and then they just went on the shelf. I don't believe they ever got run before. So that's not bad. 26 years old and uh, the motor still ran. I like the uh, the chromed metal work they did on all that and the fact that everything is all tin and metal and tabbed. Very good. They did a very good job on this. The litho all lines up well. Good job Osaka Tin licensed through Billiken.